In this video, I will provide you with a little more information about structural headers, windows and doors for bearing and non-bearing walls. Now here we're looking at a bearing wall with two windows less than four feet wide and they're using four by fours. This is common for a single story home. I, I, I made a chart and I put it at the end of the video to give you a little more information. But basically, a four by four will work for a four foot opening, anything less than four foot. A six foot opening, a four by six will work. And if you can see here, we're just, if we have a six foot opening or less, four by six. The um, six at the end of the four by six is going to be the clue. If you have an eight foot opening or less, um, you can use a four by eight. Again, these are for single story homes. Four by 10 can be used for a 10 foot opening or less. Like I said, these are two windows that are less than four foot with four by fours. Now here we have a window in the center that is larger than uh, looks like it's about five foot, could even be six foot. So it's got a four by six in the center and two four by fours on the sides. Now here's a completely different situation. If you notice, the window header is a parallel and it's larger. It's, it's about a four foot opening, but it doesn't have a four by four. And the reason for this is, and again, this is why we contact structural engineers, is that there is a large truss and you can see it it's a double roof truss on top uh, over the window and the weight over the uh, weight of the truss actually needs to transfer through the window and a four by four would probably break and wouldn't be sufficient for something like this now the sliding glass door has the same deal going on. It has, looks like a four by eight or even a four by 10 header, even though it's only six foot wide. But again, it has a double truss sitting on top of it that's probably carrying a lot of weight. So these are going to be problems you can run into if you start to remove walls and install headers in a building. Uh, sometimes these headers sizes are going to be insufficient for the weight that the wall, the load bearing wall is carrying. And these are two perfect examples right here. You know, I could just imagine someone coming in and removing a couple of two by fours and putting in a four by four over this uh, four foot window and a four by six over the sliding glass door when realistically it wouldn't work. So that's why these are general rules here. This is generally what an, an architect or an engineer will do when they're designing um, for window headers for framing. These They'll give you these measurements. It's, it's just standard. I've been building homes for a long time and it's just a standard practice amongst builders. But, and I can't stress this enough, this isn't going to work all the time, especially in a situation where you have a lot of weight I'm sitting on top of a wall and you're planning on removing a couple of two by fours or two by sixes and putting a window header in there. Here's another example of an extremely, and it might be hard to see, I brighten this up as much as I could, but you can actually see there's a four by six on the one side as a window trimmer and two two by fours on the other side with what looks to be like a four by 12 or a four by 10 header. And again, this is supporting a lot of weight. It's actually supporting the ridge of the roof and it's gonna have a post there underneath it. So the post of the ridge, the roof ridge was like a four by 10 and it sat on top of a four by four post and the four by four post sat on top of this window. And so again, this is another example of where something isn't going to work all the time because of too much weight sitting on top of the window or door opening. Here's another confusing example. You know, we have windows that are less than four foot wide. They look like they're about two foot wide with what appears to be a four by six or even a four by eight header. And this is on the same exact house that these windows are. 
that uh, look like they're about three foot wide windows and they do have four by four. So like I said, this rule of thumb isn't going to work all the time. Uh, but in it's a general rule of thumb for construction. Now here's a situation where we have a two foot wide door and uh, it has a four by six header when it could have obviously gotten away with a four by four. Now this was probably the framer had a scrap piece of lumber, you know, an extra cut off from another uh, window or door header. And uh, why not use it instead of cutting another four by four? And this is probably what happened here. So you are going to run into situations like this. If you're remodeling, you start to tear out some drywall and you see a, a three foot opening with a four by 12. And you're going to think, hey, what the heck's going on here? There's no weight on top. You've already checked in the attic. Doesn't make any sense. Well, that could have actually been one of the reasons why that uh, you're and again these are situations you're going to run into when you're remodeling um, or if some if you're framing something or someone else is framing something and you're trying to figure out why they did something well it might have just been the fact that they had a extra piece of lumber so keep that in mind then we're going to have situations i know you can't see this very good this is the best picture i had where you have a garage door opening that is 16 foot wide with either a 4x12 or a 4x16. And that is a common construction practice also, which obviously that would not fit into our category here. If we had a 16 foot opening, we should need a 4x16, right? Um, so like I said, the general rule of practice, I think realistically can apply to um, 12 foot windows and less. We can kind of go with that as, as a general rule of thumb. So if you have a 16 foot opening and you don't know how big of a header you're going to need, um, like I said, I cannot stress this enough. Wouldn't be a bad idea to contact a structural engineer just to get some peace of mind. Next up on the list would be an example of a non-bearing wall. The roof trusses are not sitting on top of it with a two by four in there. And you're going to see this every once in a while. It's a way to save money while building houses. But if you're just remodeling, you know, and you're working with non-bearing walls, it still wouldn't be a bad idea to stick with this chart here um, because you're not building 100 homes at a time. You're remodeling a house non-bearing wall, load-bearing wall, stick with this and I think you're going to be uh, fine. And here it is again, four foot less or four feet or less window or door opening. You can get away with a four by four most of the time, six feet or less, four by six, eight feet or less, four by eight. And again, the key is the number at the end, eight feet or less, four by eight, ten foot or less, four by ten. So again, I think for anything less than 10 feet for a single story home with a, uh, with, a, with a roof that does not have a lot of weight on it or something. Again, this could all change if you're working with snow loads. If you live in an area where it snows, uh, these numbers could all change. I live in Southern California and these are the numbers we've been using for years. So I hope this video helps. If it does, let me know, leave a comment every once in a while and hit me hit the old uh, thumbs up button and let me know you appreciate it and I will keep making them.